thank God for my life. Okay, my name is Favor. I want to thank God for my life and that of my family. I want to thank God for making me the first graduate in my family. I understood the past and the family traits in my family, so I had to stand up on my feet to pray. Then also, I want to thank God throughout my stay in school. I experienced Amrabi two times with guns and cutlass. God kept me. I, es I escaped rape, even from lecturers, trekked from lecturers and stuff like that. I want to thank God for keeping me alive. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No one under this commission will start a thing and not finish it well. The grace to finish strong release on your lives. Amen. Father, we thank you for that testimony. Can you give God a big clap offering for that? The first graduate in our father's house. That is a good thing. Give God a big clap offering as you believe that. That can be somebody's own testimony too. My name is Henry Malobi. I want to actually do a review of my life. Today is my birthday to say. <laughs> yeah. In the morning when Brother Anthony called me, that we should go for the morning prayer. As we were driving out, I told him that I have an empty tank. There is no fuel in this motor. But I was, I was just driving. So we came to the church here. Yeah. So we are, I said, I will buy fuel. That was what I, I said. I will buy fuel as we are going. But I don't have ATM card. So I was looking for somebody to transfer money to. We have gone to the junction, gone to hospital, which I, I actually transferred money to one of us. That I will use it to, I will use our, ATM card, she should withdraw. Then I forgot. And we were still driving. With empty tank, I finished the whole process. And I went to. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. He obeyed God. Came out to, for the prophetic reign, prophetic walk, with an empty fuel. Empty, sorry, empty tank. And the Holy Ghost were giving him fuel. Until you finish. It will not stop. Until you finish. Because Holy Ghost hates embarrassment. Can I pray for you right now? Throughout this year, do you know what I call embarrassment? Huh? Do you know what I call embarrassment? You will never see it. I, I am praying my heart. I'm praying for you from my heart. Anything that called embarrassment, this year will never happen in your life. Whether it's financial embarrassment, it will never happen in your life. Academic embarrassment will never happen in your life. You will see food to eat in plenty. You will see money to spend in plenty. In the name of Jesus. Child of God, I'm a pastor, I can tell you. Any week, I don't receive money. It's as if that week is not good. I've never expressed it. It's every day is a better day. Please, your next testimony standing here shall be yours. Give God a big clap of friend as a prayer. Come on. Praise the Lord. I'm favorite to Korea. I'm full of joy. My coming to this ministry, I don't know how to explain it. Every time I say it, that my coming to this ministry, my life has not been the same. But people don't understand. I just want to thank God. Last week, I was having pains in my breast as like, maybe when I woke up, I was like, maybe I slept with my belly on the floor. So when I woke up, my boss, two of them were paining me, very sharp pain. I tried to ignore it. But each time, I would just feel the pain. I didn't tell anybody because I was scared. In my heart, I was saying, is this a symptom of a uh, cancer or what? I would just go to the mirror, oh, what they, I used to see in TikTok. I would be doing it as in, I would say no. I, I, in my heart, I would say no, I cannot es express such thing. But still, the pain still coming, very sharp. It will just come and it will go. Like two hours, three hours, it will come again. I was like, I don't know what this is, but I don't want to tell anybody. I just told God, this will not be my portion. So when we started the fasting for the, um, for the workers, I took it as a point of prayer. I was surprised that evening when we came, the day one, as daddy was praying, 
He finished teaching us. We are done with everything. He said, come and take communion. He went to the communion. He came back. He gave one prophecy. He went back to give communion. He came back. He gave another one. And he went back again to give communion. He said, I don't know what's happening. No. But there is somebody here. You are having pains in your breast. I just shouted where I am. I said, so God, you saw me. Ah, so you saw me. And you know me. Ah, I'm happy. Oh. So my name is in the register of this ministry. Hallelujah. Because God knows me. And then, when he said, God had just healed you. I said, he made my heart. I was very excited that night. And when I got home, I went to the mirror. I was like, no pain. Ah. I said, even this very side, I was very, I touch it, I touch it. I, touch it. I said, no, let me keep quiet. Let me see tomorrow. <laughs> and I slept. In the morning, when I woke up, I was like, and we went for the walk all true. Hallelujah. We came back. In the night, I was like, no pain. When I woke up this morning, I was like, no pain. So I'm here to thank God, Almighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty